All right, guys, welcome to a brand new video and it's time to review Evolution X 7.1 official. Now, just today, this particular ROM got a new update. I've installed it. And since the last two to three days, I have been using it since the time I made the install video. So this is going to be exciting because this is one of the custom ROMs which is getting a lot of updates. They are making very meaningful changes and this comes with Android 13. So this probably could be your next daily driver. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Now, let's see what we have in the latest update over here. Of course, this is Evolution X 7.1 official Poco X3 Pro. It works on YU and Bhima both. Android version is 13, updated on the 30th of September 2022. Now, there are a ton of changes that they have made and this will be interesting to see. Update ROM sources, added app lock feature, add hidden apps feature, add Wi-Fi standard icon features, add navbar visibility toggle, add quick setting footer icon visibilities, add quick setting footer text customization. The amount of customization in this ROM is splendid. Now add OS style notification clear all button, add left and right virtual buttons while typing feature, add option to enable AOD on charging only. AOD on this device is something I would not recommend you highly because let's face it, this is a LCD panel and it would eat into your battery. Add optional haptic feedback on back gesture, improve force, full screen settings fragment, upstream kernel to 4.14.294. Now that's not even the complete change log and of course I'm not gonna bore you guys with the complete change log, but this is a beta build, OS is based, include gapps, firmware, any version is fine, SE Linux is enforcing, safety net is passing, and that definitely makes things exciting for anyone to use. Now, as you can see, this is Evolution X 7.1 that we are talking about, and it will give you a very pleasant experience, especially considering this is running the latest security patch along with the latest Android version. So the moment you boot into this ROM, you have your standard stuff going on. I'm using a wallpaper from the ROM itself and themed icons is enabled. And I've been saying this again and again, I really hope by Android 14, all these themed icons are there and some of these apps are Google apps. Now I do see an improvement over here. Apex Legends, Subway Surfers already have themed icons, which is a good thing. If you go to the left, of course, you will see your Google feed, which is running smooth as butter. This is how it should be on MIUI, but unfortunately it is not like that. And you do have this clock. Just look at this animation from this widget. The closing and opening animation is cohesive AF. It's really, really neat. Now moving on, if you actually press and hold over here, you have the quick wallpaper chooser, which is from Android 12 L and it works absolutely fine. Apart from this, as you can see, it is working great. Now you do have your Android 13 widgets, which are as good as Android 12 widgets here. You do have your home settings in which you get your notification dots and all the standard stuff. So you do have a very, very basic pixel experience esque launcher over here. And moving on, you do have a ton of quick tiles over here. Now, as you can see, I've enabled most of them. And even after that, if you go to the edit menu, you do get a ton of quick tiles, which adds to the customization, which is a really, really good thing. Now, I can go ahead and check out each of these quick tiles in this video, but that will make the video extremely long and boring. So probably you can install it and check it out. Now, another neat Android 13 feature is if any apps are active, it will show you here at the bottom. You have a setting shortcut and you have a power menu shortcut, which gives you access directly to boot into TWRP or into the bootloader. So that works great as well. Now, overall, this ROM in the system UI is performing great. I've not had any issues with any force closures or any random restarts as such. So that is a good start for a ROM, which you want to try on a daily basis. Now, the only thing that missing here is the camera application. So you're gonna have to make do with Gcam with some good XML, some trial and error, and you should be able to get a pretty, pretty decent experience. Now, another neat thing to note over here is you do get a dedicated game space icon in the app drawer, and it has all the goodies that were there in Android 12 customization. So as you can see here, you can use the performance mode by default angle. I have had issues sometimes, so I would not recommend you to use that. But all these options, just have a look at them. 
notification mode you can choose to you know show heads up ringer mode you can select what to do block full screen event stay awake lock gesture disable auto brightness disable swipe screenshot disable usb debugging overlay menu opacity level so these are good things over here and you can add all the apps of your choice to the game space now game space being game space it works well and it gives you decent performance because i have tried gaming on this particular rom on the poco x3 pro although not 90 fps but my experience was pretty solid just a few times when there were intense situation wherein there are a couple of squads fighting with each other there might be a few frame drops but apart from that for the most part in apex legends it was giving me constant 60 fps which in my opinion is a very very good achievement now you don't really get any bloatware over here so let's really move on to settings and in about phone if you actually go to android version as you can see this is android version 13 if you take the easter egg to 1 am or 1 pm you will find very very pretty and fancy funky easter eggs which is a good thing now the name of this update by evolution x team is called eve september security patch it does come with the Kyrie light kernel which in my opinion performs pretty decent the highlight of this rom is customization and that is what evolution x has been known for always now the moment you go to the evolver you will see that the complete customization suit is present over here which is a good thing you have themes customization in which you can select what sort of a dark theme you want headline and body font can be customized real time without rebooting the device you can customize different icon packs in real time so as you can see they are changing real quick which is a good thing once again this is what you know device manufacturers need to learn you don't need to restart your device every now and then now, i sort of like this you know signal style okay that is the first force close that i've seen of course this is a beta right so icon shape customization i like squircle where is squircle squircle is here so you tap on it a couple of seconds later it's active navbar is something i don't use but you do get a lot of options now you do have a status bar customization menu here as well which is pretty you know reminiscent to android 12 you do get everything that you can ask for in this customization menu notifications can be customized and you have quick settings customization as well now moving on you do have power menu customization you do have a shortcut for hold for assistant as well over here you have a ton of gestures available including three finger screenshot and expanded screenshot so they are working fine then you can customize your locked screen, show charging info, you can have edge light, you can have grayscale and blurred for your media cover. Splendid stuff over here. If you go to buttons, you still have a lot of customization options. Then if you go to animations, you can select what sort of a screen of animation you want. Now let's go ahead and lock this. Okay. So let's go ahead and lock this once again. I didn't see CRT animation there. Yeah. So probably that is broken. Now, that brings us to the topic that this is a beta build and there might be a few features that are broken, but I've not had any issues, you know, in day-to-day -day use, which would tell me that I cannot use this as a daily driver. You do have app lock and hidden apps over here, which is a good thing. You have unlimited photo storage, unlock higher FPS in games. Unfortunately, that doesn't really work for games like Apex Legends and Call of Duty Mobile. I think they might be targeting some other games. Now, interesting things to note over here is show temperature warning, display a warning when the device executes a certain threshold, toast app icon, sensor block per package. You can decide which sensor should not have access to which app. USB configuration can be set and that is everything as far as customization is concerned. Now, important things in any custom ROM are three to four things. One is charging and battery backup. Two is the UI smoothness. Three, well, you need to know how well it performs. That is interesting. And four, does it have all the safety and security like SE Linux is enforcing or not? And can you use banking applications? So one by one, let's go ahead and face all of these questions, right? Now, as you can see, we are using AccuBattery to you know measure the charging and discharging speeds. So as you can see over here, we were on the first cycle. So we didn't use the phone much, but it lost 59% battery across 20 hours. Then 41 to 100 percent took one hour and 28 minutes. Then 34 to 100 took one hour and nine minutes. And then over here, 
once again 75 to 71 so this is what i'm trying to say in each and every custom rom video whenever you flash a custom rom for the first time i would recommend give it a couple of days before you actually you know go ahead and decide as to the rom is good or not because after a certain amount of time it actually goes ahead and settles down and a lot of things do improve now things have improved with this rom as well but before that let's talk about security you do have widewine l1 certification so no problems there you also have play store certification and safety net passing along with se linux enforcing so you can definitely use your banking apps but again this is a custom rom so whatever you do you do it at your own risk because you're not on the official miui and well, if you are a subscriber at Phone Ops, you don't really like MIUI, right? Anyways, that's a discussion for another day. Now, what about performance? I did state that the gaming experience is pretty good, but what about the benchmark numbers? Now, I do understand these do not directly convert to a day-to-day -day usage scenario, but they give us a pretty decent idea. Now, as you can see, it is scoring really, really well. 606,906, that's almost 607,000, one of the highest scores that I've seen for the POCO X3 Pro. The temperature did increase by 6.2 degrees Celsius. The Snapdragon 860 is a overclocked 855. So it does tend to run hot most of the time. We did lose about 5% battery, which is pretty standard. Moving on, we will have a look at the CPU throttle test for which we'll of course have to go to the Google Photos app. Now over here, if you tap on your icon, you will see that you have unlimited photo storage. Now. It's surprising that it's not there on my pixel anymore and it's there on this one. Anyways, now the average score was 175.053 GIPS with a maximum score of 192.76 GIPS and the CPU throttled to 86% of its max performance, which clearly states that most of the time it will give you sustained performance over 15, 30, 45 minutes or even an hour. So gaming is great. You can use banking applications. Camera needs can be taken care of using, you know, Gcam or ANX if you can make that work. All in all, Evolution X 7.1 is a go-to ROM for Poco X3 Pro users as far as Android 13 is concerned. It gives you splendid performance, rock solid stability, good battery backup, good charging speeds and overall a very, very smooth experience. So this was the complete review of Evolution X 7.1's latest update for the Poco X3 Pro. The same video will be available in Hindi on PhoneOps Hindi channel. So go ahead and subscribe to us there if you're from India or any of the Hindi speaking or you just want to watch a Hindi video and uh, yeah, it will be exciting and I might do a gaming review on this because I think this baby is ready. See you in the next one. Till then, keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.